I am appreciative to be gifted another day. God has given me another day to go after my dreams and I have big dreams. This view is my inspiration. This is my motivation. I am on Reem Island in Abu Dhabi. This island is a natural island. If you are uh, familiar with the geography in Abu Dhabi, Abu Dhabi itself, the capital of UAE, is an island. And the way how development is happening, it's expanding into different small islands. Some of them are man-made, some of them are natural. This island is natural. I think this island is 10 years old. Um, it's a smart uh, city island. It's a beautiful place. So this is the this is the Arabian Sea. This is the Arab Gulf. When you are an island, you, that gives so much uh, options for development, for um, commercials and real estates. Because every hotel wants to have a sea view. Every hotel wants to have a beach front. So you can see here. This is the city side view of Rim Island. You can see how beautiful these towers are. There is a central park, there is a medical center, there are schools here. This project is called the Bridges. I think the developer, of, the owner of this project uh, is called Aldar. Aldar, it's, it's a big investment uh, construction and owner uh, company. It's one of the main companies that really developed Dream Island. Uh, the landscape, the environment here, there is, there is, there is so much effort being spent here on the environment to preserve the environment when you are living by the sea you need to protect the sea actually so they are planting mangrove trees there are regulations here for fishing to protect the marine life something very interesting that i noticed here is there isn't really uh, many available uh, parkings in the area uh, this is the 10th floor if you go higher I think the, the view will be more uh, spectacular. Every tower here have a swimming pool. Every tower here, here have um, a gym, uh, facilities, everything. So, and you can see all the way there is, um, there is a mangrove trees. Uh, so you can see here the, the development is still going and the island is still under, under, some parts of the island are still under construction. That this side is still under construction. So what I will, what I will do right now, I'm going to take the camera and I'm going um, to go down in the street and I'm going to try to show you as much as I can of Rim Island. As I said, you can see everything here is brand new. Everything is smart. This city is, is made to be, is designed to be a smart city. This sign is at the sea. As you can see, as I was talking about, Abu Dhabi is spending effort to protect the marine environment. No fishing is allowed. And also, if you want to do fishing here, you should have a special permit. This is the Arabian Gulf. This is the Arab Gulf. And as I said, from the balcony, so all the way you can see the Louvre Museum and this bridge is connecting the Reem Island with the Sadiat Island. This is the canal. I think this area is called Shams, Reem Island. This is the bridges project. The canal goes all the way um, into the Reem Central Park. It's a very decent distance to walk and you see people exercising and uh, working out outside. There is also a fitness area. Yeah, first of all, hi, my name is Fahad. I'm from uh, UAE. Uh, I live in Reem Island uh, and I enjoy science years here. Um, you can do a lot of things here, like, you know, they have a park, you can do fitness outside, inside. You have a lot of gym exercise here. And yeah, I enjoy the people, the, the multicultural people, like a mix of people. And yeah, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you from? What's your name? I'm John from Philippines. John? Yeah. <laughs> what can you tell us one thing about the Philippines? Uh, it's nice and uh, you know, it's all island. 
<laughs> you, you don't. <laughs> it's really interesting here because Abu Dhabi is a diverse demography. You have Arabs, you have Indians, Europeans, Americans, Asians. You have people from everywhere. So when you open a restaurant, you actually want to feed everyone. So you would find um, different names. I think. I think here with, with this name, eat and drink, they are trying to say that this restaurant is for everyone. What kind of food do you have? You are, you are eat and drink. I have uh, Chinese items. Chinese? Indian. Indian? And uh, Arabic. Arabic? And uh, Mughlai. Mughlai, Lebanese also. Mughlai, Lebanese? Yes. Mughlai, okay. Yeah. So you have food for Indians, Arab, Asians, yeah. Lebanese, and yeah. everyone. Yes, yes. And your your name is Eat and Drink. Yes, Eat and, and you are on Rim Island. Yeah. Is is your food delicious? Yeah, sure. Is it delicious? Yeah, sure. Okay, you you wanna give me a meal for free, and then I will try it and tell you if it's good or no. <laughs> <laughs> this one, I think they are trying to say. We are feeding everyone. Choosing a name for your restaurant in Abu Dhabi is not really an easy task. I can tell you that. But now I'm getting closer to the Ark Tower and the Gate Tower. And let's see. So this is the Ark Tower. It looks like an Ark. I know there is a medical center in there. Um, yeah, this is beautiful. So this is the Ripton School. I think it's from the UK. I'm not sure. But you can see the, the global international vibe of, of Abu Dhabi and of the Rim Island when you see uh, the, this school. And this is again the Bridges Project. And this here on the left, the Ocean Escape. This is the Ocean Escape. It could be a hotel, it could be a residential. This was Lulu supermarket. Lulu actually means perils. That was um, the, what's the economy of the UAE started on, perils. They, they get it from the sea. And actually, I think I was reading about Lulu supermarket before. The owner is, is from India, and he came to the UAE back in the 1950s and 60s, I think that when the economy was based on perils and that guy built himself from scratch and now he's the owner of one of the biggest grocery chain stores in the Middle East, Lulu supermarket, hypermarket. Um, I really enjoy going to the grocery store here in Abu Dhabi. The UAE is a global market. It's an open market. It's an, an open market. Um, you have fruits, vegetables, uh, meat, everything from everywhere. There is a big combination. And even if you want to buy, for an example, avocado, you would find avocado from Rwanda, Uganda, Kenya, North America, South America, different prices, different quality. And that goes with everything else. Um, there is a competition on, on everything, on the dairies, on the fruits, on the canned food, on everything. There is a competition, especially with the growing local market. Can you smile? The guy in the grocery store asked me to take his picture. And I think I took a very nice picture of him. I really love when people see the camera and, you know, act excited around it. I love, I love this building. It's, um, it's different. This building looks like, looks like a stairs. Looks like a stairs going up. And you can see, because the other towers are glass, but this, this tower, or I don't know if it's a tower, semi-tower building, concrete, looks very nice. Behind this tower is the gate tower. This is the gate tower. I think it's the gate towers. The gate towers, or the gate tower, because it's it's three towers connected together with the, the top. Beautiful day. This is Reem Central Park. Look at this uh, 
beautiful project. It's called By the Sea. So this is uh, Reem Central Park. This is, the, these apartments are called By the Sea. And then here you have um, the sea view. And then you have the mangrove trees. You can here come and kayak. This is what, what I was speaking about when I said that being on an island gives you um, so many options for development in real estates. And this is um, very obvious. This is a summer day here in the Arab Gulf. This is a summer day. The temperature is 30 Celsius. It's 90 Fahrenheit. Um, usually I think summer here is, uh, the temperature goes more higher but today we are lucky it's a beautiful day the the sky is cloudy the wind and the humidity are not also as 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 high um, the humidity is 60 percent this is the arab gulf this is abu dhabi and i will leave you to enjoy to take a picture? Uh, yes. Okay, you, I can take your picture. You don't want one? I can send it to your WhatsApp. Ah, okay, okay. You want? <laughs> this is a video for <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. I only have a 3% on my battery and thank you guys for watching the video. I enjoyed doing this video like I have enjoyed the other ones I've did. I enjoyed meeting everyone in this video. Um, please subscribe to my YouTube and like the video and share it. Um, one more thing, one last thing. I think I'm, I'm really having a I think I'm really having a challenge because I go to the gym and I, I enjoy bodybuilding and bulking and I think my, my, my shape doesn't go with what I'm doing because people are mesmerized of my size and how I, I am like going around and making these vlogs. So um, please, if you enjoyed the video, uh, subscribe and share maybe I need to drop some weight and maybe people are maybe people need to get used to my size um, So as much as the weather is windy, I'm using these uh, wireless microphones from Rode company. And I think uh, this thing, this fabric on the top is to protect it from the, the wind noise. So let's see how the sound would come out uh, to be. I think it's going to be uh, fine. It's going to be, I think, perfect. It's a, it's a good device. I just had it for like two weeks and it's actually my first time trying to film with uh, Rode uh, microphones outside. Anyway, I was supposed to go to the gym uh, today, but I, I skipped the gym. I didn't go to the gym. I had a shoulders workout today. I didn't go to the gym, so I take my camera and film for you and make this video. So if you guys are watching, subscribe and like, and I will try to go to the gym, maybe in the evening or maybe tomorrow morning. This is where I get my motivations from. This is my inspiration. Having the big towers, living in a big city, this is where my inspiration comes from.